So basically, um, where to start? Um, I got into a car accident. So that was like the highlight, I guess you could say. I wasn't able to perform at my first game as marching the assistant drum major. And it's just been rough. Uh, I have a lot of like work to do and I have a lot of essays to write. And I'm just so t like my face is so greasy because I just got done performing at my marching exhibition. So that's when I was a senior. So it's like, oh, I've peed me behind. So, anyways, um, yeah, to just give you guys an insight of what I've been doing recently. Oh my god, my hair is so messed up. I gotta take a shower soon, but it's probably it's not tonight. But um, anyways, so yeah, um, just a little bit about my car accident. I was driving and I was going. We were on the street and we the speed limit was like forty five. And essentially, like if this was him, this was me. You know, he going this way, I'm going this way. We was going forty five, right? And then out of nowhere, like I didn't see no blinker. He just turns. And it didn't give me no reaction time. So, and my tires have, they had bad um, traction. So basically, my car went like this, just right into him. And it really messed up my car. Like, if I can, I'll insert a picture here. But if not, you know, I'm still new to the editing thing. But yeah, just really been struggling. But, you know, it's fine, it's good. I've come with a game plan. I did get cited for it, so I'm gonna have to pay a fee of like two or three hundred dollars, hopefully, because I got I got wrote up. I mean, wrote up. I got a ticket for driving too closely, but so it's considered my fault. Thankfully, the guy is fine. Everybody else is fine. Like nobody was hurt, and we're just gonna you know chill and hopefully nothing bad happens. But yeah, that was basically what happened. Um, anything else that happened? I since of that because of the accident, I did, however, miss because it happened on a Friday, and I was going home to get my band shoes, and the accident happened, and I was just like, oh my god, because I had it's Friday, and the football team plays on Friday, so the marching band goes to football games on Friday, so um, I missed my first game being drum major. And it kind of sucked, but all in all, man, like it sucked, but it was a lesson to be learned. Um, now I know to drive super far away from other cars and drive extra slow because I don't want to repeat it because it was just stressful on my family, stressful for the band because they didn't have a person to conduct them when they turned around, stressful just for everybody, stressful for the other vehicle. The other vehicle... Thankfully, the man, I don't want to disclose any information, but he said his car, his car was perfectly fine. He didn't suffer any damage. He didn't suffer any damage. Um, he said it was just his old work van, so he didn't really care about it all that much. But, yeah, that was essentially what happened. And, you know, you know, it's, every, this light is blinding me. But, you know, it's just a lesson to be learned. It's not, it could be a blessing in disguise because... We already have a game plan. I'm going to save up money for the next five months, putting $400 towards my new car each month. So that way I will have enough in January to pay for the new car that I'm going to be getting, which I don't know what I'm going to get yet. And I'm going to put that money, well, it's going to be January or February, because I'm going to use that money and put it with my tax return money and then use whatever that is to buy a new car and, you know, pay my first month insurance and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, you know, it's just a little bit rough week. So, anyways, um, the marching exhibition, I, I forgot if I said it earlier or not, but we did really good. We practiced really hard. We had the sectionals. I'm very proud of everybody that's in my marching band. I'm very proud of the other schools, and it was, like, fantastic. So, yeah, you know, had a lot of fun. I feel like of all the performances, this one went the most smooth because 
I'm the type of person, like, I know the music, and I know, because I have a solo, too, I direct and I have a solo, and, like, I know the solo, it's just like, dun, 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 like, I know it, but my band director stares me down every time I'm about to play it, and he makes me so freaking nervous, it's just like, stop looking at me because basically my little solo is like one two da 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 and that's because flutes coming before us and as soon as the flutes i just see him walk across the field looks me dead in the eye and he'll just look at me like with like the most angry face and i get so nervous because i already cracked the solo twice not during performances during practice during i've never messed up my solo during a performance but during practice, I cracked twice and he says, you got one more time that I don't hit it. <sighs> it just makes me nervous. And the weird thing is I don't really get stage fright. Like in concert band, like I'm pretty good. I don't, I'm not a very shy person. Oh, that was real country. That's not really country. But um, I'm not shy. Like I don't under, I don't understand. But, sorry, I gotta keep checking something. But um, anyways, yeah. Had a pretty rough week last week. Gonna recover. You know, accidents happened to everybody. My family was helpful with the situation. And yeah, basically we're just gonna correct it. So anyways, what should I do? Cause this video is kind of short. Um, what do I do to get to know me tag? I mean, not a get to know me tag, but um, just a normal tag. Cause I already did the get to know me. I'm just gonna pick a random tag and do it. Okay, so I just figured why not do the questions you ask yourself your senior year tag thing so anyways let's just get started do I want to go to college yes I have plans to go to college I have two different things I either want to major in music or music education or um, being like biomedical sciences nurses stuff like that so, you know, I have like two plans. Um, what are some things I like to do for fun? Um, obviously band, I love I love band. It's like my favorite thing, playing my instrument, I love it. Um, what else? I like to go to my job. Like that sounds weird, a lot of people are like, ew, work? But I like I like my job. <laughs> and you know, I, it's fun. Um, I do draw, I used to. I'll insert clips here if you know, I ever figured out how to do a picture thing. <laughs> But I'll put clips here and pictures, not clips, but pictures of my drawings. I have like a big drawing book. I don't have it with me, but I have photos on my phone. And oh yeah. So next question, what is my financial game plan if nobody offers scholarships to me? Um. At that point, I think just to save as much money as I can, I'm going to probably just end up going to a technical college for my first two years of school to get my core out the way. So that way it won't be super expensive, but I'm not really worried about that because since I, I'm in dual enrollment, for those of you who don't know, and dual enrollment is basically where you can do high school and college. So I already have, and it's free, so I already have all my basic English classes done, and I have all my basic history classes done, so I only have to take math and sciences. And I have an AP credit that I think it should transfer over as AP, like actual AP credit for biology, so I have one science credit. And I'm 99% sure, like I'm, I'm applying to scholarships, I'm doing everything that I can to, you know, just do what I gotta do, so hopefully I'll make enough money so i mean not enough money but hopefully i'm in a financial state but if not i push comes to shove and i don't want to do this and i don't want to jink myself there's wood right here i'm knocking but i guess i'm just gonna take out student loans and i don't want to but you know i need an education because no one in my family has ever been to college that i know of in my recent family so yeah i need to get education um the next question i forgot what it was oh yeah what are some people who are some people that i think i'm not going to bring into my life in the future um one person that i want to keep in my life is obviously my best friend devin um hopefully like me and her are starting youtube channels and it's going to be lit 
we're doing like kind of a collab but kind of not at the same time i don't know what is going on but i just record videos when i'm free and um she's always been there for me she's been sick lately my neck's really oh my neck's really long oh sorry but she's been really sick lately and hopefully she gets better you know Devin, i love you supporting you you know all that good stuff Sorry, but anyways, but anyways, I'm going to cut this video now because I have to go do something, but please like, favorite, comment, share, subscribe, all that good, subscribe, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, my social media will be in the link below, and I hope you guys enjoy your day. Bye!